Uh, this is the Sim League at Aquila CR1 Championship. This is round five as we come into the second half of the season. We're at Kent at the Brands Hatch in this circuit, a very tight circuit. Lap times way under one minute here. And I'll be a commentator for today. That's me, George Evans. Thank you very much for joining us. P1 and P2 in the championship coming into the second half are separated by literally nothing. 94 points between uh, for both Gajewski and Gra. And then Dario Imla unfortunately dropped back a bit with his DNF in the last race. Then we have a bit of a, a close one between P6, 7 and 8. Mars Nera with 34 points. Chris Walker only one point behind with 33. Soteris Talk with 30 points. Valentin Gajewski steals pole position of Victor Correa by five hundredths of a second. Arthur Gras going to start from P3. And then we have Mars Nera P4. Mission Spinal, Soteris Talk, Chris Walker. A new driver, Sonny Luce, Alessandro Rebeck, Nicola Chima, Danny Caffey, Alessandro Mallard and Sally El Naji as the cars line up on the grid for 30 minutes of racing at the Brands Hatch Indy circuit and off they go Valentin Gajewski leads he leads Victor Correa who leads Gra and it looks like uh, oh no he's gone down to P3 has he? oh no there we go that's uh, Mars Nera in P4 and it looks like Gajewski is going to pull ahead Let's see what's happening to Correa. He falls down the pack. Arthur Gra has got ahead of him. And that's going to be good news for Gra if he wants to get ahead of the championship in this race. So a brilliant start by Gra, and it looks like he's already going on the offensive. There's a little bit of contact, but Gra gets through on lap one. He is wasting absolutely no time getting past Gajewski. And it looks like Mars Nero's having a little look as well, right on the back of him. Is it side by side? Uh, Nera and Gajewski. And it looks like Nera might actually get the move done here as it goes up the inside of Gajewski. And it looks like Correa's having a look as well, but he just gets muscled out. And Maz Nera does go up to P2. He overtakes Gajewski. Gajewski falling down the order here. And Correa, he might have a little bit of a look as well. And it looks like Chris Walker's overtaken uh, Soteris Talk. That's going to be important for the uh, the championship. He's going to extend his lead over Soteris Talk. Correa side by side with Gajewski. He got ahead momentarily. He's ahead now. He goes up the inside. Can he make it stick? It doesn't look like it. Looks like Gajewski's still got his nose in front just for now. It's right up the bumper. Can Correa make a move? He's having a look. He's having a look. He's still just got his nose in front, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It looks like, uh, is that Spinal who's gone off? Spinal's gone off. And that's going to let Nikola Chima get ahead. And that's a shame because he was uh, he was looking for those positions. So it's Arthur Gra who leads over three seconds to the rest of the field. Uh, Sally El Naji uh, at the back of the grid there. Maybe he had a moment earlier on. But it looks like Correa is going side by side with Gajewski yet again. These two are not giving each other an inch. And can uh, Correa get the move to stick? He goes round the outside. Gajewski to the inside. It's like deja vu, but it looks like Correa has his nose in front now. And he takes the position. He goes onto the podium. Fantastic overtaking manoeuvre. Gajewski is right back at him, though. He's so close between these two. But yeah, it looks like Correa's got into P2 now. And uh, is he going to be able to catch up to Gra? with a four second gap Nera down to P3 Gajewski down to P4 now we'll see if there's any more developments there never know Gajewski might be trying to uh, play uh, the long game here he might be we've seen Imola try the no stop strategy and it is it worked for him at, uh, at the Laguna Seca circuit so it could be possible that Gajewski is just sitting back in the tour of Nera and he's just going to try and save fuel and when these guys in front pit uh, take the lead and try and consolidate his lead there so remember this is the battle for a, a championship position as well 
Chris Walker pulls ahead for now. Ooh, it'll, did he lose the rear a little bit there? It looks like he just held on to it, but that's going to let Talk get right onto the back of him. And Talk's going to look up the inside, and Talk gets the move done, does he? He's gone up the inside on Chris Walker, and he's made it stick. That's Soteris Talk up into P7 now, that is. That's a good move for Soteris Talk. That's going to help him uh, overtake Walker, but is Walker going to come back now? Walker up the inside. It looks like he is, and he forces uh, Talk around the outside, and Chris Walker re-gets the position. He's back into P6. Fantastic ding-dong between these two. It looks like Spinel's back up to P5 now, so uh, he's recovering back into uh, the position where he was before he had, uh, before he went off track. So, and has Nera gone off? Looks like, yeah, Nera had a bit of a moment there. So, uh, Gajewski's gone through to P3. And it looks like it were a, a back marker. Was that was that Chima? Uh, I think it was Kaffi, Yeah. So it looks like uh, as they were getting past the traffic, uh, it held Maznera up and let Gajewski slip through. So Gajewski up to P3 now. Talk has re overtaken Chris Walker again. These two still at it. They've been at it all race. But it's Talk who has the advantage for now. And he's just gone a little bit wide there. Can he defend from Rebeck? Well, I think this is a battle for position with Rebeck, and it is. Rebeck goes through. Walker does go around the outside, but Talk holding that inside line. The rub doors a little bit there. And Talk goes into the inside again. And it looks like he's holding off Walker just for now. But this has been Walker's favourite overtaking place. Can he get a move done here? Right up Talk's bumper there as they go uh, left, then they go right, and it looks like Walker has just slipped up the inside of Talk, but he goes wide on the exit. Can Talk get the switch back? No, Walker just holds on. Fantastic move again by Walker. He closed down the gap, and now he's ahead. Looks like we've got a couple of retirements here. One from Sonny Malucci, our, uh, our new driver, and one from uh, Nicola Chima, so that's unfortunate, but uh, Rebecca's coming for... His refuel, that's let uh, Mallard get up a position, up into P8 now. Oh, Masnera, Masnera's got a penalty for speeding in the pit lane. And there's been some developments at the front. Correa now leads as Arthur Gra. He's had to come in for a splash and dash. And it looks like he's just leaving the pits now. And that puts Victor Correa as the race leader. Gra couldn't go to the end of the race on, the t on this tank. Now there's only a minute left, so can Correa and Gajewski make the no-stop work or are they going to have to come in for fuel? Now the gap to the race lead is 20 seconds to Gra. No, Victor Correa, he's had to come in for a splash and dash as well. He can't make it to the end of the race. So that's going to put Gajewski, provisional race leader, if he can get to the end of the race. There's less than a minute left. And what a turnout this would be, as Gajewski now goes as the leader of the race. Now Correa's coming out of the pits, he's going to be in P2. And where's Gra? Is Gra going to come out ahead of Victor Correa? Or is he going to have to fight for position? The ba he does, Gra goes P2. So the top two drivers in the championship go P1 and P2 in the race. And can Gajewski just make it to the end with zero stops? A very, very risky strategy. But uh, just staying behind the toe when he was battling with Mars Nera, that could be, uh, that could be it. And it looks like that's the race win for Valentin Gajewski, who will now lead the championship after Arthur Gra had to go for the splash and dash. So P1 Gajewski, he goes first in the championship again, followed by Arthur Gra in P2 yet again. There's nothing to separate these two guys in the Aquila CR1 championship. There's Victor Correa, he comes home in P3, so that's going to be some good points for him. Uh, mission spin out in P4. 
A very nice race from him. Chris Walker is promoted to P5. And it uh, looks like Soteris Talk was P7 after Masnera got his drive through. He wasn't able to uh, to get past him in time. So that's going to be good news for Walker. Alessandro Mallard finishes P8, so good points for him. Rebecca P9. El Naji comes home to finish out the top 10 on mouse and keyboard. So you've got to give it to him. Great drive from him today. Danny Caffey, the ever consistent race finisher. P11, he's going to come home with some points. And then uh, Malucci and Chima, unfortunately, get DNFs. So P1 in the championship. Valentin Gajewski, yet again, leads Arthur Gra by four points. So Spinel goes P3. Then Chris Walker P5. There's a bit of a, a gap there. And he, I think he actually overtakes Mars Nera there after Nera's uh, drive through penalty. Uh, battle for P5 is going to be interesting. Not be far behind, of course, is uh, Soteris Talk. He's uh, seven points behind P5. Victor Correa, after his uh, podium, P3, on 39 points now. So, <laughs> uh, positions five to uh, P9, separated by only uh, eight points. Crazy stuff. But that's it, guys. That is the race. That's everything from me today. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. So yeah, same time next week. We're going to be at Suzuka. Around 6. And then uh, we'll see what happens in the championship. Will Gajewski extend his lead? Or will Gra come back and uh, level things out again? You just don't know. These two have been going at it every single, uh, every single race. And uh, what, a, what an exciting season this is turning out to be.